Welcome back to another week with me. I'm so excited to have you back. I am. One week away from doing these videos with you guys feels like seven years. It feels like forever. Just a week of not sitting down with my camera and talking to you. Today I have decided to get out of like project land because my mind has just been consumed which is good and fun and amazing but I just needed a little mental break. I basically today just have to go like you know, run some errands. I have to get groceries. Just gonna pop in at the thrift store on the way to the grocery store. I don't have a whole heck of a lot of time today. I still have project stuff to do this evening. Okay, you guys, you need to chill. So I got it in my head last night. And this is really sad because I used to have so many of these because for a minute, okay, let me just say what it is first. The train cases. You know those vintage train cases that you feel like you've seen at every thrift store all the time forever? Well, they're harder to find now because everybody's fallen in love with them and started selling them on Etsy. So I'm on the hunt for those things and I thought it'd be kind of fun to go thrifting for them. So yeah, we just have an exciting week ahead. This is a like just I needed to do my makeup kind of fun yellow look. I don't know if yellow is definitely like you know the color for me just because of my skin tone and my hair but i have i'm one of those people that believes that i can wear any color I'm just like there are no rules wear it there is no like it looks good on you type crap like just wear it if you like it i also would like to report that i've finally been accepted into the ipsy affiliate program yay so with that said if you do plan on trying ipsy or wanting to sign up for it feel free to use my link below <laughs> That lets them know that I'm talking about it. Look at this one. You know, purple really is, I feel like, the color that I am most attracted to in January and February. What is that? Let's open this up and see what's in here. There you go. It's a day cream, which is fantastic because mine is getting very low. Look at this packaging. See, if I had my nails done, this would be way better. That is such a good rose smell. We all know rose can go very old lady very quickly. So getting it right to where it really just smells like a rose petal. Oh, that smells like a rose petal. I feel like my face is in a rose bush. Half caked star bright loose setting powder. Very fun. Yeah, baby. Like retro Austin Powers <laughs> to it. So fun. Love that. Look at that. It's a nice just... Truly a little translucent powder with the poof. I love the packaging for it. I use the pure translucent and I hate the packaging. I think they've changed it by now, but I have the old one. It's just kind of a pain in the butt to get it out. Grande Brow Fill Volumizing Brow Gel. Infused with peptides and fibers. Build, tint, and tame. You guys know I've been trying to grow my brows out for the longest time. I was refusing to do anything here with like shaving or plucking. I was refusing to do any I was saving every hair because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And then skinny brows are back. I've seen it all over the magazines. I've seen it all over TikTok. I've seen it all over everywhere. Everyone's talking about how skinny brows or back. These aren't skinny brows by any means, but I just shaved. I was like, that's it. I'm done. I'm done with the rogue hairs all the time and not feeling like I've got a clean brow. So I have reshaped them. I really lifted the tail and I actually think I might even lift it even further. Lifting the tail really does a lot for like this area and it gives you so much more brow space. But let's see if I can get any use out of the Grande Brow Fill Volumizing Brow Gel. I'm excited to try it though. So I will give this a go tomorrow. I ain't messing with them today because I got them just the way I want them. Okay, I did pick this and it's funny that I picked it because I actually didn't love it. I bought it and I didn't like it because it was the only thing in my options that I lo that looked good to me. This is the uh, KVD Beauty Good Apple Foundation Balm. I don't know that I gave it a proper chance as far as like 
different primers and different skincare because a lot of times I feel like what you prep your skin with sometimes can change the product so it just depends like I've seen primers that really don't like certain foundations and vice versa so you know and the final product is the Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Concealer oh nice I always always am up for a concealer and I would say right now my two favorite concealers is the Morphe concealer and the Clinique, the new one with the white top. I'm down for trying a new one. And what does this mean for Morphe with Morphe going bankrupt? What does it mean for their products? Are we still going to be able to get our hands on our favorites? Or is this going to get absorbed by another company, renamed? Like what's going to happen? It's really sad. It's sad to know that the pandemic has eaten yet another beauty business. It smells like Halloween candy. Um, anyway, look at the coverage though. Like if you put it over, look at the coverage over my tattoo. That's my test with most like covering products when it comes to concealer and foundations, since I have hand tattoos, is I tap it over that to see how well it covers it. And if it can cover that, then we know we've got good coverage. Actually, let's take the good apple and see. And you know, obviously concealer is gonna have more coverage than the foundation. So here's the good apple and then here's the concealer. Definitely good that the concealer is a shade lighter so that I can do a little brightening under eye with the foundation all over So that'll be a good like pair with each other. I think anyway I'm excited to try all these products a lip product would have been nice just to kind of round it all off But you can't get a full face in every ipsy can you let's get going to Trader Joe's and The thrift store. This is the first outfit I have put on in what feels like two weeks where I feel cute <laughs> Otherwise, I've been pretty much in yoga pants and dog walking attire, so it shall be documented. Well, you wouldn't believe out of the two thrift stores that I went to that I had zero success finding luggage at all let alone train cases. So we have four dresses to try on. So you can tell that somebody was thinking about this dress and then changed their mind and stuck it on the thing right on the rack right before they got in line because it was right next to the registers. And I thought, well, I love this dress. So maybe it was meant for me. It's a teacher dress. I call them teacher dresses, but really they're just very mom, like 80 style dress, style dresses with the shoulder pads. Look at the shoulder detail with this like, that is so cool. And big shoulders are kind of in right now from what I understand. So it's, oh, and it is 100% pure wool. Joni Char, San Francisco. And it's got that like royal blue color that I feel like looks really good on me and it kind of helps bring that color out in my eyes. The other thing I got at the Goodwill, I paid full price for it. It was not part of the sale, $6.99. And this is actually an old navy dress. And I couldn't, I was like, really? Cause it's just not, not, not anything about old navy that's bad, but it just feels like a fine linen dress, which I just didn't know that old navy would have made. I'm sure it's just cotton. It's a see you on the flip side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's this really lovely orange red and it has little daisies on it. Little floral white daisies. I just thought it looked like a spring dress. So yeah, but I like this a lot because it's a wrap dress. <laughs> Be still, my heart. It is an oxblood red corduroy ruffled I mean right there I just said five of my favorite things this dress has everything I swear to god this is my dress I mean I know I say that a lot but how cute though and it's baby doll like a baby doll dress oh I cannot wait to put this on and style it up I saw so many dresses with this shape this thing <laughs> could this be any more vintage like Come on, I gotta die. We've been waiting for you. With the kisses of This thing's actually pretty big. It's very oversized, so it'll be a neat uh, challenge to, you know, throw a harness on, probably, or some sort of belt to cinch it in a little bit, or just wear it big and baggy. I just don't want to feel like I'm wearing a tent, but it is so soft and it has the 
cuff this almost looks handmade you know sometimes when you can't tell some things just seem handmade and they have no tag on them whatsoever and you're just like what is your story where do you come from <laughs> Who made you? Very mysterious, this one, but how much do we love these colors? Periwinkle, navy blue, and freaking red? I, I think so. <laughs> but that's it for now. I'm gonna get back to work. See you guys tomorrow. Hello, good morning, and welcome to the next day. <laughs> last night I did a peel mask before I went to bed which you know <laughs> it's actually quite painful because you feel like you're ripping off an entire layer of your skin but my skin feels so smooth I did that because I have an event coming up that I wanted to look my best and I figured do it a couple days before just in case my skin wants to have any sort of crazy breakout reactions to anything <laughs> as one does um, and I also did a sleep mask. So I had a really nice ultra hydrating. I think it was the Dr. Brandt discovery sleep mask. I'll show you the products later that I used for my masks. And I woke up with baby soft skin. It was so nice and it was perfect for trying a new foundation. So I will say that the good apple foundation has won me over and it's crazy how much I hated it the first time. I also think the first time I used it, I used it with a beauty blender and this time I just wiped it on really like sparingly with a brush first to see how I felt about it. I keep doing this and I'm going to see how it looks at the end of the day, but I'm really liking it, like really liking it and it's so smooth and it just has that nice skin texture, you know? I love it when a foundation can make your skin just look like healthy, glowing skin. It really is truly a bomb, like more of a bomb foundation. Obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. How much does this cost? Because now I'm obsessed. Please don't be really expensive. Because I always get, like, bummed out whenever I try these things in my Ipsy and then I realize, oh my god, this is like $150, you know? Which, when it comes to your skin, there really is no limit on price in my opinion. Your face, you know, really just spoil yourself when it comes to your face and your skin. Because looking youthful forever is priceless. <laughs> I just cracked my neck. Speaking of youthful, we've got to get ourselves ready for the ball, baby. <laughs> We're going to a ball. We're going to a winter ball and it's my husband's work party. It's the Christmas party actually. So it's going to feel kind of festive. It's in the bougie ritzy part of Seattle and it's at a very nice hotel and it's very dressy. So I have to figure out what I'm going to wear. I need to do my nails. I did this just because I thought maybe this might be how I want to do my hair. But yeah, we've got some outfit planning to do. So stay tuned for tomorrow's exciting getting ready for the ball. I wanted to tell you guys how good I'm doing at the sugar-free situation for January. And I actually think I'm gonna be able to keep it going even past January, believe it or not. Just really started to like pay attention to my sugar intake, you know? Cause sometimes it can get a little out of hand, especially when you're allowing yourself to replace it with something that you were codependent on, such as wine. <laughs> so, I mean, my husband bought sweetie sweet and salty stuff but he knows he does know i still got the sugar-free cookies i actually bought them again apparently they make an oatmeal which i'm so excited about so that's gonna be good some agave so that i can sweeten my tea my favorite creamer makes a zero sugar creamer and it's delicious and there's nothing strange in it so that's good look what else we found zero sugar oh. keto friendly ready whip I'm gonna put this on my coffee right now. It's delicious. <laughs> uh, this stuff is very good. Very, very, very good. And I think it's better than regular ice cream. I feel like regular ice cream is way too sugary. So this being half the fat and no sugar added ice cream, it's delicious. And if you wanna make it soft serve, just put it in the bowl and let it kind of sit for like a minute or two and then whip it as much as you can and it turns into a soft serve ice cream and it's the best way to eat that. It's so good. It's Soft serve is my favorite ice cream. So if you just whip it up, it makes it perfect. But anyway, I'm gonna have my whipped cream <laughs> coffee. Now, I'm sure there's something in here that's probably not the best, but <laughs> 
she has to have something okay <laughs> i've been doing a lot of like fruits sugars and fruits is fine i i don't i want things to stay natural and i'm trying to get as close to like how we would eat if we just lived on a farm and grew it ourselves that's my current mentality is just like farm life eating <laughs> which i'm sure that sugar removed whipped cream is not on the list but we can have our uh we can have our whipped coffee and drink it too Okay, I have to go work. Hello everybody, welcome to the next day and I am just currently trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear to the event tonight. Obviously not socks and slippers. I have on the new free people dress that I got and I haven't even worn it, still has the tags on. And I think it's, I think this might be the winner. I have on Spanx underneath, is this, am I gonna, is that gonna bother me? Especially if I'm gonna eat. <laughs> I have on like really tight the honey love shorts shorts why I say it like that uh and I might make this a little bit longer I can't tell if I want it longer or shorter okay here is an option I actually borrowed this little black cover-up from my store this is for sale in my store but I might I might keep it for myself because it's such a great little cover-up and I think it looks really nice over this so this might actually <laughs> be helping me out thanks paper dolls boutique store yay also from my store the chloe boots i'm thinking how uncomfortable am i willing to go for the sake of designer boots that i absolutely love because they look so good with this dress so here's the next thing this is a dress i've actually had for such a long time this dress has like really really good memories attached to it and i've had it you guys for like 15 years or something like that it's just nuts how long i've had this but it's just so it's perfect because it's kind of like it's a little bit water resistant which it's dumping outside and i also thought it would be nice to have an opportunity to wear my christian louboutin ballet flats which i think look cute with this dress here is another option. This is the Karen Millen dress that I got a couple summers ago. I do want to wear this dress again. Like I feel like with the amount of money that I paid for it because I treated myself with this dress. And now I'm like, is this too summery? Or is it like appropriate for, I feel like it's too summery. I have decided to go with a scotch and soda leopard cheetah which i've said before i don't think leopard is my thing and that's why i've never worn this but i actually really like it styled up this way and i think with all of this it looks actually really nice okay so i'm going to attempt to put these down on my nails first it's called nail guard and it's supposed to be a strip that keeps your nails from getting damaged when you use glue on i'm hoping it does more than that i hope <laughs> that it keeps my poor fingernails from having a reaction but what I'm probably gonna do is the only way is just to try it and then I'll know by tomorrow because if my fingers start feeling like they're being electrocuted that's when I know something ain't right <laughs> see how it's got that kind of pearl that's what I think I want yeah we're gonna go with this all right feeling super rushed <laughs> not to anyone's fault but yeah we're not doing too bad on time and then here's the husband's outfit what are you wearing ted baker that's right ted baker Little todd snyder jeans nice very nice ted baker both tops yeah nice nice and we match
Hello everybody and welcome to the next day. We had a great time. We did. We had a really good time. I only had a few like little mini panic attacks. I had one where I was like, I'm going to have to run out of this room right now because I was feeling so claustrophobic. We ended up sitting in an area where the table was like so far from the exit and I was looking at my husband when we were walking to the table and he's just like, are you going to be okay? And I'm like, I don't know because <laughs> I cannot sit in the middle of a room at a table far from an exit because I might, if I start to feel fuzzy and tunnel vision, that's a really long way to go to be able to like, get out of the room. And uh, I had a couple of moments where I'm like, this, is, this isn't good. This is not going to be good. Yeah, we had a, a really nice four course dinner. I ended up getting the beef. I'll insert some video and photo photos but I got the beef I think it was like a beef welling dinner you know like a beef uh, short rib or something I don't know it was so good though the salad was really good and then we had um, dessert and I got a soda cranberry and some coffee and it was really lovely we had a really yeah we had a really good time um, it was really nice the table that we sat with uh, everybody didn't really drink so we weren't really surrounded by like a lot of drinkers the girl next to me was pregnant and then the people to our left were sober as well it was really nice to just have like a group that wasn't going wild not that it would have mattered but it definitely was a little tough like doing my first social event without wanting to run straight to the bar do a shot of tequila pre-game and then have some wine for the rest of the night like that's what I normally would have done and I was missing it I was missing it really bad but in the back of my mind I just have to remind myself that it never leads me to a good place and it just leads me to daily drinking again and feeling like crap and then my body saying what are you doing so it's like not worth it so anyway um yeah we had a good time we got home at a decent hour I have this project that I've been working on that we had a tiny little glitch and I had to fix it before it can go live. And it's live so I can finally tell you guys what I've been doing. I've been keeping it a secret because it's not my place to talk about anything that isn't mine to talk about. I just hit up one of my favorite makeup artists, Erin Parsons, and let her know that if she needed any help with her YouTube that I'm available because I just closed my store. I have all this time and I'm dying to find somebody who I can help edit their videos and just kind of manage their YouTube. It's like the dream job. And she, she hit me up and I was like, no way. I can't believe I opened my big stupid mouth because <laughs> it totally got me a gig with her. And she had this really amazing, huge project that she has been working on for a really long time. I'm saying like years of research and finding this very specific Marilyn Monroe product. So if you want to go watch the video, I helped edit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link it below for you guys. Go check it out. Go like it. Go comment. Go give it a thumbs up and just like follow her and give her all the support so that she'll keep working with me. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a wild ride the past seven days just making this perfect for her. So really it's just been editing land and her and I talking about what to do, what to put in, what to take out. I had to do some color correction. I mean, every single thing that I have been working my ass on with this video stuff for the past eight years, finally this week has come to like a place where I'm like, this is why I've really needed this to boost my confidence in knowing that I was on the right path and it also made me realize stop questioning or doubting yourself when it, you feel it in your heart and I've been feeling in my heart that I love love making content for YouTube I really do so here we are um, I'm so excited to share it with you guys and it sounds like we might be working on some more projects together it's really good because I have makeup background and so when she's talking about things or sending references or we're discussing stuff I'm able to understand what she's talking about and so I think that gives me a little bit of a leg up working with a celebrity MUA if you guys don't know who Erin Parson is Erin Parsons is just go check her out because she is Gigi Hadid's makeup artist she is like Maybelline's global <clears throat> like global makeup artist she lives in New York and does like Maybelline set, photo shoot set like makeup and uh, she has a vintage makeup museum which is incredible or she's starting one the list goes on of things that she's doing that I think is just so rad I love it 
I'm, this is my place. This is where I belong. I feel like I'm home. Yay! <laughs> but it also has made me neglect you guys a little bit this week. I have been more in editing land with doing this video and executing it properly. So I have had a little bit of a step back on my own channel, which is why I took a break last week and also didn't really have a whole heck of a lot that I filmed this week. But we'll see how work starts flowing in and what I have time for. So stay tuned if you want to see just how, where this all leads me. I feel like after the year that I had last year with just watching my business um, struggle was really, really hard. And I didn't really voice or talk. I just acted like everything was fine because I don't want anybody to worry about me or feel bad. And in all reality, it was like really, really hard. It was a hard blow to take because when you feel like, you know, something that you really thought was your dream, it just ended up not working out and you ended up not even really enjoying it that much it's like where am I supposed to be it makes you think like where do I belong and I've always known in my heart that making videos and editing beauty videos and doing all of this kind of stuff is definitely what I'm passionate about so I'm really gonna stick my heels into it and I'm gonna keep doing makeup I have a lot of weddings coming up I have a dance competition like speed round of makeup to do on some dancers coming up so there's a lot of makeup stuff still involved which i want to make sure i keep that fresh so that's going to keep going um maybe i'll start making like fun makeup videos if i can find a way to make it fun for me i would love to make makeup videos i just sitting down and doing makeup on myself i just don't think people want to see anymore because i don't think that i'm the best of the best when it comes to that like technique and things like that like I see people doing makeup and they blow me out of the water. So I'm like, I am not the authority to be telling people, but I can give you some decent advice and show you what I do on myself. So if I can find creative ways to have fun with it, then I'll work on doing some more makeup, just dedicated makeup videos for you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week with me, a little vlog and uh, I'm just so glad I could finally tell you. <laughs> I think she's actually texting me right now. Uh, I hope she goes and looks at the video. If the video was live, go check it out. Check out the links of the video that I edited for Erin Parsons doing Marilyn Monroe's lipstick. Oh my God, it just keeps getting cooler every time I say it. Subscribe if you're not. Give me a thumbs up if you'd like and I'll see you guys on next week's. Bye.